Hi. I'm gonna share something with you today, okay? So let's see what. What is this? Uh, there's something like uh, watercolors, right? <laughs> and uh, some rulers and stuff. Okay, and what is this? There's something in it. Let's see. Huh? <laughs> okay. So it's like this. <clears throat> Uh, my geometry, okay, uh, patterns that um, that I draw. That's one representing chaos within order. That's order. Um, that's something like this. You see, this is not uh, actually finished yet because I need to color it. Quite magical, right? <laughs> I don't know why, right? I know why. Because you know, oops, almost fell down. Uh, because geometry is something, something that, unless this civilization will start understanding, um, <laughs> not technology, geometry, and um, start growing love within itself, for itself uh, you won't really get anywhere and we won't get anywhere you know what I mean? geometry is, is really really important I cannot tell you how much I cannot even emphasize how very important it is and then this so it's, it's really important really really important you know it's just amazingly important. I'm not gonna tell you how <laughs> and why actually and exactly. But well, you might realize it pretty soon because we're getting to that era that um, these things will be supposed to be understood. Uh, this is something that I painted yesterday at night you see without harmony everything falls apart birth equals death wow how is that possible <laughs> at the same moment it also means that death equals birth because uh, it's exactly like that you see this one is dying it's kind of dying out and this one is blossoming and you see this center? You see? That's infinity. And infinity you can reach through neutrality. You see? Because it's a neutral point of bright and dark. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. So I wanted to share this with you. I think it's... Um, yeah, those are my portraits, by the way. Because I just realized that you can see them. <laughs> I mean, not not the portraits of me, as you can see other people. Um, yeah, you know, love and geometry. There's many, many messages given to the society through geometry. How much everything is based on it. Yeah, especially what you can see and grab. Especially that. Uh, if anyone is interested more into this, um, into science of geometry, you can type um, in your browser, in your internet browser, word fractal. I'll put it, uh, I'll put it somewhere on the screen so that you can see it, and then you can type it in and you can see a little bit more on this uh, topic. Okay, on internet you can search. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye. You know, religion likes to use geometry, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Many of geometrical patterns. And where do they take them from? Or where did they take them from? <laughs> A lot of people think like geometry, some geometrical patterns and symbols come from religions. No, they don't come from religions. Not at all. Religions just took them. 
Some religions took them not even knowing what they mean. <laughs> not even being aware. Study on it. Study on it if you want to understand. There is a lot to study. There is a lot to observe. Not so much about the scientific um, type of study. It's the observation. Observational type of study. Which you can see everywhere. In nature. Nature. Nature is the answer. <laughs> Because you don't have to go out into the nature, because nature is not somewhere else. Nature is right here and within you. Okay? The same way as it is around you. You know, no matter in what kind of artificial surroundings and environment you are put, still, that set of artificial environment is still put in nature <laughs> so it just may be a box but as soon as you step out of that box you are in nature so nature gets into nature <laughs> you know because yourself nature your own being your own body is all nature so put these things these two things together into one so that you understand who you are and uh, what is going on okay now I'm really gone.